Welcome to Weekend Wake Up. Welcome to Weekend Wake Up. Yes, hello. We're so excited for today. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. Uh, you got something fabulous for us today? Yes. Let's talk today. As always. About he left my curse at the cross. Jesus left that curse at the cross for us. Amen. Praise God. Colossians 2, 13, 14. This is what it says. And you, being dead in your trespasses and in the uncircumcision of your flesh, he has made us alive together in him, having forgiven you all of all your trespasses, having wiped out the hand writing of requirements that was against us, which was contrary to us. He has taken it out of the way, having nailed it to the cross. And I love that. I love mm, the I picture love that. of that. The handwritten requirements of the law has been nailed to the cross. Mm -hmm. And that's such a picture, an image that we need to have in our mind. Amen. That everything from the law in, in the Old Testament has been nailed to the cross because of Jesus. Amen. Amen. So the Bible so clearly um, tells us that those written requirements, um, they were against us and Jesus is for us. And all of that has been nailed to the cross. Amen. Um, those written requirements were those 613 commandments that came down um, from Mount Sinai with Moses that, that basically said, stop mm -hmm. this and stop that. And it was a man's way of earning eternity. But Jesus, he took everything that was that written requirement and he took it to the cross. He was the lamb that was slain for our sins. He was blameless, he was perfect. He did it perfectly. He finished and completed the work and he, he carried all that to the cross for us. And I think, you know, that in life, and, and I actually, you know, gave this as a, a word at church. So I think we come to church carrying things mm -hmm. we're carrying um, and and a lot of times or basically all the time we're not designed to carry these things and I I wonder if today as we're talking about this if we can leave things at the cross because that's where the, they're designed to stay they're designed to be at the cross you know Jesus left your sickness at the cross mm -hmm. so did you get a bad report um, has sickness tried to attack your body? Here's what I know. I know that you can leave that sickness at the cross. You can leave it there because there's victory there at the cross. See it nailed to the cross today. See that cancer nailed to the cross. See that inflammation going on in your body Amen. nailed to the cross. See that disease that's going on nailed to the cross, knowing that by the blood of Jesus, you can have healing in your life. Maybe so. you're dealing with poverty. Maybe you're dealing with lack. The Bible says that Jesus became poor that you might become rich. You don't have to carry poverty. That's right. You don't have to carry lack. Jesus nailed that to the cross so that you can have abundance, so you can have provision in your life, so you can, you can walk through life. Yeah, maybe the bank account says lack, but you're saying, no, by the name of Jesus and by what Jesus has done, I receive poverty. I mean, I receive prosperity to come into my <laughs> life now in Jesus' name. Sorry, my lips. Um, you can see breakthrough in your finances. Leave that so poverty good. at the cross today. Maybe you're struggling in a relationship. Maybe, you know, bitterness or unforgiveness has entered your heart. Maybe today is to the day it, to leave that bitterness and unforgiveness at the cross and receive God's unfailing love for you, mm -hmm. to pour into you, to fill you up so that you're able to walk out and do the things that God has called you to do in your life. Oh, good. Go ahead. So much love. So much love. So much love. Like, I mean, unending. It's like unconditional and can't be earned. Yes. Like it's just because. Yes. Just because that's who he is and he loves us wildly. Like so much. When you're talking that just the love. Amen. And I, I could feel it the coming cross. out of you. Just the love of what Jesus did. Mm -hmm. You think about the cross and... Mm -hmm. He You're offered, right. he offered, it's yeah. absolute love yeah. for us. Without the certainty that we would... Love him back. Correct. And choose him. He just... So good. So loved us. Um, 
years ago. So even before marriage, I started dealing, um, and this is like a very new reveal. Like I haven't really, I haven't spoke on this a lot or shared on this a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, and I don't, I don't know why. Um, but I started dealing with massive, massive anxiety and panic. And to the point where like, um, Scott would drop me off at my house on a date. And I remember one time in particular was really, really big and and lengthy. Um, But I would um, have these visions that everybody upstairs um, had been killed. Mm -hmm. Like I had been, I would start having these visions in my mind. And one of these times I remember coming in the house and just, it, they freeze you. Mm-hmm. So these panic attacks, it would just take hold and your heart starts to race and, um, you know, I would start to just sweat, like cold, cold sweats. And I remember one time um, a, my parent, my mom heard me come in and, um, but didn't hear me move around. Like I, you know, it's a two story. And so she just heard me come in and, and she said, much time had elapsed and she leaned over the railing and Mm. I was just standing there Mm. and she was like she called my name and Mm. it kind of you know broke me out of that panicking whatever Mm. and um that didn't stop it kept going on and so it kind of went into um it it would subside and then it would come back and so Mm. obviously like in times probably of stress or you know yeah of course um, yeah, concern or frustration, <clears throat> but I dealt with it up until, um, third baby. And I remember being in a Walmart and, um, I would, it hits you when, whenever and wherever it wants to hit you and it's debilitating and embarrassing. And the, you think that you can't do anything about it. Mm-hmm. And in the moment you can't. And, um, I remember having the wherewithal to call Scott and he just, you know, would walk me through it and tell me to breathe and take a deep breath. Um, but I remember I got to a place where the Lord showed me mm-hmm. that I needed to attach to exactly what you're talking about, that he loved me so much so good. that I didn't have to endure it. I didn't have to put really not even endure it, but put up with it. Mm-hmm. Like get, get to the, like I had to get to that place where his love was more than whatever was wanting to attack Mm -hmm. me. And in fact, I was dealing with it and allowing it to be there, but I didn't have to because that love that God had for us was Mm -hmm. just a choice away. Mm -hmm. And for me, um, that's what it was. It was really applying that reality that he loved me so much that the cross happened for me. Mm -hmm. Like he, endured that pain he endured that sacrifice for me and allowing that to sit super deep on the inside of me and to dispel and wash away any anywhere else where I thought I could earn it I thought I had to earn it Mm. um, be good enough for it and really attached to what that action that he did and what that scripture about seeing it nailed to the cross, what it means to bury it at the cross. And it became very, very real for me. Mm-hmm. That act that he accomplished on the cross, that that sacrifice that he chose to make on the cross became very, 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 very personal. Wow. And it had to for me to have that image yeah. of that panic attack, of those anxiety attacks that wanted to, and they were very debilitating, mm-hmm. very debilitating. Mm-hmm. And so I did. and. Um, Got free. Mm-hmm. Amen. Nailed That's to the cross. I think you should pray today. Okay. <laughs> I, I will. Do. So we just thank you and we praise you right now, Father God. I thank you. <clears throat> and I praise you for your son, Jesus. Mm-hmm. I thank you and I praise you for that sacrifice that you made, Jesus. Thank yes. you for loving us so much. God, thank you for loving us so much that you gave us the greatest gift you had to give in your only son. Mm-hmm so that we could have the choice to choose, have the, have the choice to even decide mm-hmm. and to choose you and to know eternity. Thank you so much right now, Father God. And I pray this over anyone out there that needs to see something nailed to the cross. We just see it right now in the name of Jesus. I thank you and I praise you right now that you are being given the strength, you're begin, being given the wisdom, you're being given the unqualified the unconditional love of jesus is 
pouring all over you and you're feeling a peace right now in the name of Jesus to just let that thing be dead and buried on the cross so that you can walk free in the love that Jesus has for you and the love that God has for you and knowing that you have an extraordinary, incredible birthright and that you have eternity awaiting you. In the name of Jesus, I thank you and I praise you that you are set free right now. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen. Well, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And have a fabulous Saturday.